So it's not the fault of the engineer. It's not the fault of the architect. It's not the fault of the client. It's the fault of the process. Why do we not recognize it? Because we've built it into our assumptions. If you're a multifamily, multifamily developers here? You are, you are, okay. Have you built multifamily before? Yes? So you know how much per square foot it should cost for market rate, right? And if you use design, bid, build for your, for your system, you know what it should cost for design, bid, build. If I build school buildings all day long, and I've done it for 20 years, I can tell you through my database how much it's gonna cost. Rob and I build lots of dental clinics, 12 of them. I know that every dental clinic that I've built has been delivered between 150 and 200 bucks a square foot for the clinic itself, not the site work, not the dental equipment, but what our work for the building. So, you know, we build these databases of information based on the model we're using, our boundary. So if our boundary conditions say, I'm using this design, bid, build, broken model, then of course, that's an accurate number. But what happens is we try to then go in and say, I'm gonna use that same system, but I want a high performance. Right? So I'm taking a broken system with lots of waste, and then I'm gonna try, try to layer high performance on top of it. And what I'm doing is ending up with a 15 or 20% more cost. Because I got a broken system already, and I'm layering something better on top of it, so of course it's gonna cost more. So the way we have to do this is we have to use a better system that ferrets out the inherent waste in our existing system, then use that money to deliver high performance. That's what we do. Today, I maintain that we are doing business with this in the computer age, in our industry. 